this battery is, I think this is the group 27 or group 30, I'm not sure. It's definitely not the group 24, which stops and ends here. So there's an extra over lay over overhang, if you want to say, um, which goes over there. So this Sanhu power battery, Sanhu power. This battery is a lithium ion phosphate battery, 12.8 volt, as you can see, 100 amp hours. They have a bunch of information here, so that's cool. Sunhe Power Technologies. It is made in China. And for me, one thing about this battery is so close, and I don't know why. The stickers and stuff, it looks similar to a battery which I've already <laughs> reviewed up there. Uh, it's a different housing, but quite similar. And the link is in the description below. It does come, as you can see here, it does come with those caps. Well, these caps are pretty nice to protect the M8 bolts up here. The battery, it does come with those caps I just took off. It does have those stickers here on top everywhere. And before I continue talking about that specification stuff, specification next, then we'll do the capacity test. And then we will look at the internals. How's the build quality? What do we think about that? and maybe something you want to know before you buy that battery. But for 200 bucks, I think, um, right, that's definitely prices dropping still, which is amazing to see. So everything is way more affordable. And yeah, let's just get to it. It does have this nylon strap. It does also come with this nice pouch. And I took already everything out, so send home power. And does come with uh, the quick start guide, which might look familiar to you. I don't know. It's in German and in English. I'm pretty sure they knew I'm German, so that's why they sent me the German portion, because I'm not understanding English. Maybe not, maybe it is. But it's cool to see that it's for the German and the American market. And then it comes with a product manual. Also, in my opinion, it looks very close <laughs> to another competitor, which is not a big deal, but it's a well-sized little uh, manual, I feel like. So we can see those information. And then more information inside of this battery. So, because this battery has a max continuous charge current and discharge current of 100 amp hours, recommended is 0.2C, which is 20 amps for this battery. And there, as always, lithium ion phosphate battery, operating temperature range, that's what they recommend. Um, charging should be not lower than zero. Discharge can go to Celsius. Discharge can go to minus 20 and up, of course. And this one is IP67 rated. As soon as we open it, probably not anymore. They say the warranty policy, we provide a five-year warranty for all batteries. Our five-year battery warranty includes the following privileges if you use correctly according to the manual. If pop problem cannot be resolved, we'll send a new battery to replace the defective battery. That's good to hear, good to know. But can we actually pull 100 amp hours off this battery? I think let's just start with the capacity test and afterwards we'll continue with taking it apart. Okay, here we are again. So. This is our capacity test, and you can see back there, we do have the battery, the Sunha power. And I would say, we'll just start and kick off the capacity test. Let's see what we can get out of this. All right, I think that's what you're running with. It's not 0.2C, it's 0.3C almost. We'll let it run and uh, we'll be back and see what we're able to pull out of this battery, I would say. It's nice to see we did already exceed the 100 amp hours. We are really good with 103 at the moment. And we could pull probably a little bit more, but I'll stop it here because uh, we don't want to go too low if we can avoid it. But look at this, it's, yeah, now it's decreasing tremendously fast. I'll stop it. This is 103 amp hours in this Advertest 100 amp hour battery. It's amazing, so that's a great pass of this capacity test. 
let's move on. Amazing 103 amp hours. That's really good. And I'm happy to see that the 100 amp hours, which is advertised, we also get out of this battery. So that is very important to me. Because I feel like, as always, when you, when you advertise it as 100 amp hour, you should at least have 100 amp hours. So that's good. Let's see what else we have really quick. Online they say, it has create A cells and BMS board. It has an overcharge protection, short circuits protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, and high temperature protection. No word about the low temp protection. So we will take a look at this. As I mentioned, I did like also to see this battery in those graphics or they had, and this one is one easy operation for capacity expansion. And it's a 4P, 4S, so you can go either uh, in the 48 or 51.2 volts configuration with uh, four of those or you can have four in parallel up to 400 amp hours or both a combined 4p4s like in this graph this is amazing to see let's take it apart let's take a look at this here we have the battery it's an open mechanism they improved <laughs> now it's uh, you can see there's a black gasket around it which seals it to ip67 and let me take off this identity foam let me try. Yes, I think we are good here. So we do have negative, positive terminal back here. We do have a six gauge wire, positive side. And I believe it's also, yes, a six gauge wire terminal side, which goes towards the BMS. And the BMS over here is one thick, even though it's two. Yeah, let me show you here. Not this one, don't need that. This one. So this is the main negative over here, main positive. Main negative goes to the BMS, and there is a bus bar connecting both, so they decided to just go with one, um, which is fine, I guess, as long as the bus bar is thick enough, that's very important. And oh, this one you also don't need. We do see hydraulic crimps everywhere, so that feels good quality. It does look organized. The cells are quite interesting because they're really long. I have not seen those ones yet. Let me put a picture of them the screen because they seem to be scratched off all of them somehow it's hard to read but it feels like they're all scratched off interesting methodology to do that then we have kind of a kind of connecting board so it means it's kind of spreading everything and it's just connecting those balance leads all the balance leads going to the board and then the board connects to this extension cord over here so i think they just wanted to minimize maybe the length of wire they need. They are sorted on here, all those balance leads, so that's a potential fall off point when it's getting too hot. And I can see there's a big blob here on this negative terminal as well as here because it looks like they're quite close. So it is possible that they were touching and they wanted to just avoid it. So it's possible that this is kind of a little, not designed for by, to say, but could have been better solved. Let's see if I can get it out. So yes, it did just fall out, which is great. You can see here, we do have this foam, identity foam on the bottom. So they are definitely smaller than I thought by a lot. They weigh thinner, so not as high, They're just filling the gap. And by the way, when I look down here, you can see they have a lot of used marks already, because this cannot happen just standing inside. Well. I mean, there's nothing against reusing batteries, as long as you highlight that. So here we have some packing tape, which is holding the epoxy into place, as well as the BMS. Here on this side, the BMS is just holding in place. Yeah, so you can move it around. It's just holding in place with the packing tape. Let's see, is this, yeah. That's a JBD BMS much as it looks 100 amp hours version 1.1 as you can see in the picture here and that's the entire BMS so we can see there is <laughs> here is a high temperature switch which says 70 degrees Celsius I don't know <laughs> it has a feeling of reuse the cells which is fine as mentioned as long as they don't advertise it as great air cells um, because they seem to be scratched off as I mentioned which is kind of weird and doesn't give me a lot of confidence, even though we did pass with 103 amp hours capacity test. Well, 
always when you advertise it i don't care what you do just be transparent so yeah it's still a good pack bms could be you know hold the place a little bit better i can see here i don't know if you see that sadly it's probably me now playing around with it too much but i can see here the yeah i can see them coming out when i pull too much maybe not ah uh, that's concerning but maybe they should have just they should have just used a little bit more shrink tape a longer one and then that would be good i didn't see this at all as long as it holds in i mean they use nice thick gauge wire that's good they use quality bms here they have a lot of glue they have uh, i think the build itself is not too bad also looking on top here again they have a bus bar here they have um yeah some some the balance leads only soldered on one side and on the other side they are actually screwed in to the terminal with the bus bar so that's really good i like to see that and um, this is it's a cool idea i like it but uh, yeah the soldering is always something i'm i'm in between let me know what you think is that something you would be concerned about or not in general it's clean it's built together yeah you can discuss if that makes sense to have a you know have the sensor just laying underneath here the bus bar or not not clued in hey but uh, sometimes i complain about too much clue sometimes i complain about too little clue i think overall it's good to see what it is now we're doing the high time cutoff test you can see it is charging already everything's connected when opening it up i need this little high time switch over here i'll use the heat gun as always heat it up and we'll see how far we can get And please look at this one over there. Yeah, it could continue, but <laughs> it did stop and I didn't even recognize it. So it stopped. When it's cooled down, it should start charging again nice and there it is back so the high temp cutoff does work which is good to see just to confirm here but i'm curious what do you think about this build battery what do you think i think about the cells oh maybe one thing i have to mention here as well all the cells have epoxy board in between as well those awesome long cells i like it okay that's about my summary 